going on my friends and family? Welcome back to another video! So as you guys know, I am back in Singapore at the moment and we are finally out of the 14-day quarantine that returning Singaporeans and just anyone who's entering Singapore has to serve. And I did record every single day and posted it on my Instagram account. So if you want to go check them out, I will leave my Instagram account um, link in the description below. I just made Instagram TV videos for each day. Before watching this video, I really recommend go checking those out because this is just a montage of my favorite moments during quarantine. Most of my time was spent literally just eating and like making videos. So I really appreciated my time in quarantine, um, just being able to um, get adjusted to Singapore, I guess, while inside a air-conditioned container because coming from Kunming, um, the weather there is like super nice. It's normally below 20s or like at most 25-ish. However, coming back to Singapore, the, of course, the weather difference is mad. But yeah, so being able to be in quarantine in the air conditioning for the two weeks and then transitioning to this house, which is kind of like half quarantine, half um, fan if you know what I mean because our air conditioning is expensive So just using the normal ceiling fan is also really nice So just getting used to that as well So that's something I'm really thankful for to God um, just knowing every need for us and just providing So I just wanted to give a few tips from my experience of quarantine to those who may be expecting to go into quarantine Maybe you're traveling somewhere and you're gonna have to quarantine in the place that you go to. I would say just enjoy the moment. For me, it was pretty easy because it was like in a hotel, we had Wi-Fi, everything was good. But um, what really kept me going was that I kept myself occupied constantly just with like vlogging and just keeping like a daily journal in a way. Like whether you make it public or not, um, definitely like keep a journal. Just find something to record each and every day and it'll just make the days go so much faster because you're looking for something interesting to do every single day. Yeah, just enjoy the moment, like just enjoy the pause and relax time you get and just like pause. It's honestly a blessing in disguise just being able to rest and relax and not have any like appointments or anything. So that's a few tips that I have from my experience in quarantine, like a legit quarantine. And also definitely follow the law because countries are really strict about COVID. Just follow the law. It'll be over in a blink of an eye and it'll just feel so much better when you um, leave quarantine, you just feel that freedom. So that's some of my tips. Hopefully it's helpful for some of you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this montage of my favorite moments during quarantine. Yo, what's up guys? So this is my first Instagram TV video. Day four of quarantine. Day five of quarantine. Day six of quarantine. Day seven of quarantine. Day eight of quarantine. Pretty late rise today, not gonna lie. Today, we literally have to go for the swab test. Hey, good morning, guys. Day 12 of quarantine. The last full day of quarantine is here. We made it. Day 14. It's not really technically a day because we're kind of leaving today. We leave in literally like an hour and 45 minutes. This is such a weird angle. First question is, how's life? Pretty good if I will say so myself. Do a flip. Yeah. Here I am uh, watching our old volleyball games. Feeling the nostalgia. You know what that means? It means I'm moving to this bed. Yeah. Alright boys, we join with the squad. Say hi to the vlog boys. Can't tell if you're being serious. <laughs> if people legally changed the number 8 to 6 and the number 6 to 8, that would mean every time you counted 10, 6 and 9 would be beside each other. I was reading this somewhere and people have to take 3 minute showers. Yes, you heard me right. They have to take a shower in 3 minutes. I've been trying to train for that. My current time is 3.40. So I'm trying to narrow it down to 3 minutes or less. You already know it's gonna be a good lunch when you got a fruit on the top. I guess this is tropical weather. I just got on my shower and the time that I had was 2 minutes and 50 seconds. Yeah! Tomorrow we'll be able to go out the route because of the swab test. They're gonna, they're gonna stick 
a stick. I can throw a stick. I guess it's some more of a Q-tip. Up your nose for 10 seconds of rotating each nostril. Okay. First time putting socks on in a while. Let's see if I still remember how. Mask on. Let's go. We whipping up uh, this strip today. Always got the merch on. Alright guys, so it's a taste test. Which one's better, the red apple or the green apple? Sweet. We're not even gonna try that. Obviously red one's better. That is much more than one parcel. We got some Kyombaru Bakery uh, cake. Cheerios. Got some fresh fruit. We got some kiwis and stuff in there. Thank you guys so much. Two cartons of coconut milk. Coconut water, not coconut milk. Royal mixed nut. We got some vitamin C. And we got a chocolate bar. Nice. Dark chocolate with a touch of sea salt. Alright guys, let's try out the Singaporean milk tea. Pretty good. My brother got the green tea. Um, Bubbles. All right, guys, just finished recording a video. Yes, it was Minecraft. You can go check it out. Guys, we got full-on fried chicken. That looks amazing. Dude, there's like something I would buy in a restaurant, like KFC or something. So we just got an epic surprise, an actual package parcel. Someone awesome sent us these rice cakes and cheesecake. My mom thinks those are rice cheesecakes, but those cheesecakes and those rice cakes, that's what I was talking about. All right, boys, so I just got a call from ICA, which is the government, and they just told me that I have a negative result. That means I don't have the virus. Dabs. That's always a good thing to know. And we get to check out of here September 1st. That's in like two days. Holy heck, guys. We got a lot more snacks. We got some more cheesels. Um, potato pot slices. We got some tortilla chips. We got some more bubble tea. We got a hot coffee. Some caterays. That's probably not how you pronounce it. No way. No way. Bro, I think we got some donuts. It's like a cold. Box, so I think it is what I cannot read that but I think they're donuts. They're in that donut family Oh my goodness guys. I just found the most entertaining thing to do in quarantine I can't believe I haven't been doing this for the past two weeks All right, so we're starting off with some stretches. Stretching the arms, come on ladies, let's stretch the arms. All right guys, this is it. We are going out right now. We've already cleared everything. The luggage is all gone. Just got my backpack and my camera. We got this little sticker as well to prove that we're done with our quarantine. So we got our luggages outside, ready for the people to pick it up. All right guys, we're leaving the hotel. Wow, we out, yeah. So yeah guys, that is the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Just the 14 days of quarantine. It was honestly a blast just being able to like take a pause from life um, and just sit back, relax, record videos, edit, spend time with family, spend time with God, call and catch up with people. It was a lot of fun and I'm super excited for this next phase of life in Singapore. Um, we're finally out free. And once again, just being able to transition with the heat and also like my military coming up soon. Just that weather change has been really helpful. And yeah, besides that, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, stay tuned for the next one. And I'll see you guys then. Goodbye, God bless, peace out. All right, I'm back. Apparently this video needs two more minutes before it can get to 10 minute mark. So I'm just gonna answer two more Instagram questions that you guys have sent me. So the first question is, music note, what is love? Music note. I don't know whether I'm supposed to sing that or something. I don't know whether that's the lyric. Sorry, sorry, don't judge. So I'm just gonna answer the actual question. So for me, love is when someone goes out of their way to uh, help someone um, or to provide for them. Whether they have a consequence um, after they do that, if you guys understand. I don't know whether that makes a lot of sense, but like, if someone goes out of his way and to do something for another person with the knowledge that he won't benefit at all from it I think that's love and I mean Jesus is just the perfect example for it like what Jesus did is my definition of love and the next question is do I have any childhood dreams that I still uphold to today well so as I was a kid I kind of wanted to be a zookeeper and like run my own zoo so this is kind of a stretch but because I wanted to be a zookeeper that kind of shows that I want to 
be my own manager so kind of like an entrepreneur so I still kind of have that type of idea of a job I want to be self-employed whether as a freelance artist or like um, a youtuber anything like that I want to like create my own company if you know what I mean so that's kind of like a childhood memory I don't know whether that counts so yeah hopefully we have two minutes <laughs>